Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. You probably heard lately about an update of Terms of Service on WhatsApp application. If you didn't, well, you should know they did an update of their conditions to use the WhatsApp application. And the update was really sketchy. That's why a lot of people start moving to other alternatives like Telegram and Signal and so on. And to be honest with you, we should have done this a long time ago. Because of the size of information that WhatsApp stores on its users, it's really scary to know that. For for example, imagine you are talking to your brother or something about a surfboard and suddenly you access Instagram and Facebook and the first thing you will see is an advertisement about surfboards. And I don't know how you feel about that, but for me, it's unacceptable. Otherwise, let's get to our tutorial. So basically, a lot of people lately are searching on how to remove the data or accounts from WhatsApp application. But a lot of websites and videos are misleading about this topic because they all say that just uninstall WhatsApp application but that's not how it works if you don't believe me just uninstall whatsapp or reinstall it again and you will see all your data on conversations will suddenly go back to the application so in this video i will show you how you can remove all your data on conversations on everything whatsapp knows about you and also before uninstalling the whatsapp application there is some things that you will need to do before pressing on uninstall button to completely remove all the data before deleting the application itself so without any more talking let's get to it so the first thing you're going to do is access your whatsapp application which is really obvious and as you can see i'm a really long time user of whatsapp application i can just keep scrolling here all day i've been using whatsapp since 2018 i think but i think it's time to say bye bye right now so the first thing you're going to do is tap on the three dots at the top right corner after that tap on settings and tap on account which is the first option and you will see delete my account as the last one and you should see a red title says deleting your account will blah 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 i don't care at the bottom screen the last step is to enter your phone number that you use in whatsapp on it and tap on delete my account let's just do that right now and after you type in your phone number tap on delete my account and after you tap on delete my account it will take you to a page that says we hate to see you leave tell us why you are deleting your account for well make sure to express your feelings right here that's what i'm going to do right now tap on the drop menu and you will see a bunch of options here i want to change my device changing my phone number and so on tap on order and type in the thing that you want so i'm not gonna be rude or something because i know it's not mark zickersberg who reads the complaints so i'm just gonna type in simply privacy concerns after you type in the thing that you want tap on delete my account again and once you think that you finally will delete your account well you are not it will take you again to a red page with the red flag saying proceed your account deleting your account is permanent and blah 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 yes that's what i want to do and tap on delete my account for the third time you see how hard it is and after you successfully delete your account on your data you should see a welcome to whatsapp page make sure you do not tap on agree and continue because that's not the case here so right now you deleted your account on your data but we are not finished yet you cannot just uninstall whatsapp application yet there is one thing you need to do before so basically what you need to do is access your settings and scroll down until you see app section tap on it and give it a moment to load all the applications on your phone in the list after that tap on the search icon at the top right corner and search for whatsapp just like you see on the screen right now and tap on the application after that the first step is for stop in the application so just tap on four stop button so the whatsapp application won't work on the background while we are doing this after that the second step is to tap on storage section and here is a surprise for you as you can see we did remove our data and account right well it did not as you can see in the data section there is 11 megabyte of data right there and the cache section also there is 30 second megabyte of data there that's sneaky huh welcome to whatsapp so the last step is tap on clear cache and you should see cache section become zero byte and also tap on clear data and tap on ok and you will see data section also becomes zero byte so this is the thing that i was talking about and you will need to do before in installing the application because you cannot trust whatsapp anymore they can just send those data once you press an install button try to convince me that they can't i do really wish you good luck with that anyway that's how you remove all your data from
from WhatsApp and move on to other alternatives. There is a lot of other applications including Signal and Telegram. I personally do like Telegram. Telegram has really good features that WhatsApp really can't have or at least they didn't try to implement them. And simply, they don't collect data about you or your conversations. That's the most important one. So with that being said, I think my job here is done. I hope the video helps you out to remove all your data from the WhatsApp servers or move on. If the video helps you out, help me out pressing the like button. And also check out my channel. I daily post videos on how to do stuff online. So if you like the content and you are interested, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching and catch you on next one.